Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yeah, we're switching things up a little bit here tonight. Um, my wife has been on me about um, sharing with you all, um, whether it's once or twice a week, just something from uh, my devotional, Jump Into Faith. Uh, we're going to get through this one, and then we'll eventually get to I'm Breaking Out. But tonight, we're going to start with day one uh, of my 100-day devotional, Jumping Into Faith. Now you can get this copy right here, right now. You can get it online on Amazon today. You can go on Amazon, you just search up Jump Into Faith, or you can go on CamEmbracy.com. You'll scroll to the bottom and you click on the link below and you'll be able to order your uh, copy of Jump Into Faith from there right now. Um, tonight, some of you may see these uh, navy blue claws behind me. I am currently in my son's room. Um, right now, don't have an office yet. Uh, that is something that Cameron Bracey Ministries is currently praying for, that God allows us to eventually and someday have an office. But until then, um, I tend to move around the house a little bit. I'll use his room. Um, I'll use our living room a little bit. So just didn't want to freak anybody out when they see the claws on the back and just kind of like, oh, what is this guy doing? Uh, Solomon loves dinosaurs, and that is just kind of how we decorated his room to give it a dinosaur feel. So uh, outside of that, tonight we're going to start with day one, uh, and I want to welcome everybody back again, if I haven't said that already, but we're going to start with day one of Jump Into Faith. And like I said before, you can get this copy on Amazon, um, on Amazon today, or if you go to CameronBracy.com, you will be able to find your copy on there today. So day one. Uh, when you start your day off with gratitude instead of an attitude, you will reach new altitudes. So I'm just going to read it off for you all word for word, may give a brief word, and then that will be uh, the video for you. These videos won't be long like it is when I'm giving a, 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 a message for you all. So just a brief video to encourage each and every one of you today. So again, day one is when you start your day off with gratitude instead of an attitude, you will reach new altitudes. So start your day off by thanking God for giving you another day, another hour, another second to, to fulfill the purpose he has set out for you. It's easy to wake up and complain about your current situation. It's easy for you to cry about going to work today. It's easy to wake up and say that you don't feel like doing your chores today. I challenge you on day one and for the next 100 days to start your day off with gratitude. I know you're probably thinking, it's easy for him to say that when he doesn't know what I've been through or what I'm going through. I may not know what you're going through or what you've been through. But I do know being human isn't easy. There have been many mornings where I woke up with seven cents in my bank account. There have been other mornings where I woke up thinking whether I had, whether or not I had a purpose in life. There have been mornings when I woke up not feeling 100%. And I will be honest with you, I used to be one to complain. I would wake up first thing in the morning complaining. But it was until I started diving into his word that I realize I can't access my blessing when I'm entering the wrong password. So I encourage you to thank him. Even when you are amid a storm, storms are only temporary. Start showing God gratitude instead of an attitude and you will witness his power through every single storm. I share scripture with you all because I know a lot of you were probably listening. You heard that one part when I said I was entering the wrong password. So if you go to Psalms uh, chapter 100 verse 4. Again, that is Psalm chapter 100 verse 4. And this is the message translation of Psalm 104. And it says, enter with the password. Thank you. Make yourselves a home. Talking praise. Thank him. Worship him. Tonight, I want to, uh, the brief word that I want to give for you all based on this word here is simply to wake up every morning and say thank you before you say anything else. I know there are many things in life, whether it's the bills, maybe you got a teenager at home who, who's just starting to talk back to you. Maybe there's something going on at the job, something's going on in your relationship, whatever it may be. I want to challenge you to wake up each and every day thanking 
God. Start off your day with praises. When you start off praising him, it makes your day a lot better. And I know a lot of you are probably watching this video right now thinking, Cameron, how does me saying thank you every morning just change the outcome of the entire day? But let me tell you something. You wake up in a better mood. You wake up with a better mentality. You actually look forward to what God has in store for you for today, for tomorrow, the day after, and whatever else. So I just want to challenge you briefly tonight to wake up and start off your day with a thank you. And I'm also going to go a step further. I didn't talk about this in my book, but I'm going to go a step further here on this video. I want you all to not only start every day with thank you, but to close out the day with thank you. Because let me tell you why we need to first start our day with thank you. We need to start our day with thank you because we didn't have to wake up. There are thousands, if not millions of people around the world millions actually but especially in the u.s in this nation there are thousands if not millions who do not wake up every day who did not wake up this morning and as a result you woke up right there you need to already thank god because he didn't have to wake you up today he didn't have to to breathe life into you he could have said you know what that's it you have nothing else you don't have a purpose but he woke you up today because you have a purpose he woke you up today because he's giving you another chance to be closer to him to have a relationship with him to repent to ask for forgiveness to walk with him to embrace who he's called you to be and then the step further in terms of uh, closing out every day with thank you. I want to challenge you that because guys, every day there are people who do not have the opportunity to go and lay their heads down peacefully. Some died of violence. Some died in a drug overdose. Some died from an illness. Some died just from natural causes and whatever it may have been. You had the opportunity tonight. You're watching this video right now. You may be watching this video while you're laying in your bed. You're watching it right now. And you're probably saying, you know what? I have everything to complain about. But I want to challenge you to close your mouth. Reprocess how you're thinking. And thank God for everything today. Thank God for your job. Thank God, thank God for your home. Thank God for your children. Thank God for your health. Thank God for your mind. Thank God for your vision. Thank him that you have a bed to lay in. Thank him that you are going to sleep peacefully because there are many, as the Bible tells us, who may go to bed at night, but they don't, go, they don't sleep peacefully. They don't get a good night's rest. Thank God that you're able to go to bed tonight peacefully, that you're able to sleep peacefully. Thank him. When you wake up with thanks and when you go to sleep with thanks, let me tell you something, your heart will be in a much better place. Your mind will be in a much better place. Your relationship with God will change. You will just naturally grow closer with him. So I end off each, each day with a prayer. Um, I'm just going to read it right from my book here for you all. Um, so here's the prayer for starting our day with gratitude and not an attitude. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for breathing into our hearts and our lungs. Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for your unconditional, everlasting love. Thank you for our family, our friends, and those who are close to us. Thank you for the food you have put on our table and the clothes you have put on our back. Thank you for everything you have done in our lives, everything you are doing, and everything you are going to do want to add to this prayer we want to thank you lord for allowing us to gather tonight we want to thank you for dying on the cross for our sins we want to thank you jesus for allowing us the opportunity to praise you for giving us the opportunity to say thank you to you to show you gratitude we want to thank you for removing our attitude and giving us gratitude we want to thank you from taking us from an attitude to a new altitude of gratitude oh heavenly father we want to go to new altitudes we want to experience the things in which you have for us and jesus we just want to say thank you tonight we want to say thank you thank you thank you. We can't ever say thank you enough. There aren't enough thank yous in the world to say, to give you praise, to give you honor, to give you the glory, Jesus, for all that you have done for us, O oh Lord. Thank you for the food in our stomachs. Thank you for the food in the fridge. Thank you for the clothes on our back, O oh Heavenly Father. 
Thank you, O Lord, for our leaders. Thank you for our pastors. Thank you, O Lord, for those who are ministering to us, O Heavenly Father. Thank you, O Lord, for just everyone around us. Thank you for the friends you've placed in our lives. Thank you for the family you've placed in our lives. Thank you for our children, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for the bills, O Heavenly Father. Thank you, O Lord, that each and every bill is paid for, O Heavenly Father. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for our vehicles, O Lord. Thank you for our cars, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for the planes, O Lord. Heavenly Father, we just want to continue you to say thank you thank you thank you we want to thank you for our wives thank you for our husbands thank you for our sons for our daughters oh lord thank you for our brothers and our sisters our mothers and our fathers lord we want to say thank you thank you and thank you in jesus mighty and holy name amen and amen don't you feel good when you say thank you i know i feel better when i do i feel great i feel at peace and I'm a different person when I wake up and say thank you. I'm a different man. I'm a different child of God when I go to bed and say thank you. The enemy wants you to see everything to complain about. But right in front of you is a reason in which you should thank God. So I challenge you today and for the next 100 days and even after to wake up every day with gratitude and not an attitude. And I promise you, God will take you to new altitudes. God bless you, and I love you.